And I'm holding my hand. Oh, boy. The first Rocktober. Rocktober? You know, there's people around here that Rocktober. Are, aren't fans of Rocktober. Rocktober? I mean, Jocktober. Oh, I said, jo- I said Rocktober. <laughs> Rocktober twice, twice. Jocktober. Yeah. Jocktober, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Jacktober. I know there's people who aren't fans. I don't give a shit. No, I don't really get the uh, Jacktober th- uh, and it, thing. We're not I, talking I, about I, listeners, I, by the way. No, no, people that should be in the know. I, I, I'm starting off on the right foot. I promise. Oh you. boy! But it has to be said that it has been said in the past that I don't really. I don't know. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe do it for a couple minutes every other day or so. No. But how you guys? I don't I really. Eating up a lot of time. I don't really... Do you realize how I fucking <laughs> love this? One twelfth of a year is is fabulous. I wait all year for this. Yes. I've been getting tweets for a month. Yes. From people saying, you know, 29 days. It's yeah. going to be Jocktober. Jocktober. And we have the first one. Jocktober, of course, for the people that are uh, new to this show. And it seems like we're getting uh, new people all the time. Mm-hmm. It's a little strange. Um... <laughs> We just beat the shit out of the entire radio industry for a month straight. Yeah. And today we're going to go to Canada to start it all off. Oh, First good. time ever. Oh, wow. First time ever? I think so. We've never featured a show from Canada? Not that I recall. And this does really? go hand in hand with Rocktober because right. uh, that's the whole thing. When October rolls around, radio guys love calling it Rocktober. October, Rocktober. Get it? And uh, the Jocktober thing just kind of carries over making fun of anybody that would mm-hmm. say <laughs> Rocktober, mm-hmm. pretty much. Yeah. Is this a good show to start it off? You got to start off strong there, Sam. Oh, yeah. Open big, close big. I thought this show was a good show. I was surprised Canada's got a lot to offer in terms oh, of... Oh, boy. Uh, Here we go. Can you promise me we don't feature any fucking shows with guys I know personally? Oh, no, boy. I cannot promise that. Oh, that boy. I used to do radio with? You know what I can You know, I've you? tried to strike up a friendship with that guy ever since, and he doesn't <laughs> want anything to do with me. What, have you texted him a couple times? We used to room together. We started, oh, we started in radio together. I, we went and to last, war together. We played golf together. And I swear, and, and this is the God's honest truth, uh, Sam brought this show from Nashville last year, and I really was thinking in the back of my head, you know what? It, the show isn't that bad. It's just not what we do. <laughs> I really was thinking oh, that, boy. and I'm not trying to spin it, uh-huh. but then I felt like I was in the spirit of it, so I was all in like everybody else, but then something didn't seem right. Long story short, it turns out to be a guy that I, I started radio with in Geneseo. <laughs> yeah. Where we stayed uh, one summer oh, just to run the radio station together. And then we ended up rooming together. And then we lost touch over the years. And, and it's that guy. That was my favorite moment of last year's Jocktober. Oh. Because it was like, he yeah. had just been bashing him. And we were halfway through the segment. And there was some reference to his last name on the clip. And I tapped out. I knew. I was and like, you go, wait oh, a minute. Fuck. But the whole time, I'm like, Ooh. that voice. Something about that voice. <laughs> and then you realize that you're in the situation where this guy that you start. Like, you both had the same dream. Started with. And 18 years old 19 and, years old and you're both like yeah we're gonna do it yeah and he's stuck in some small market he's in nashville he's doing good you're yeah. a national I radio my star t- making fun of him and randomly yeah. one day you just decide to start making fun of him for no reason but then i'm like i, I i'm trying to make good i follow him on twitter <laughs> i comment about his tweets and he will not follow me <laughs> oh does he remark when you comment? No, man. He doesn't want anything to do with me. Trying to rebuild that bridge? <laughs> Horrible. We started together. We just lost touch over the years. You know what's great about Jocktober? Yes. What? The uh, listener participation with their various websites and oh, Facebook pages. Oh, oh, it's just oh, so much fun to oh, get the listener involved. Oh, boy. It really yeah. did become a multidimensional thing last yes, year. Yes, it did. As yeah. the listeners became involved and... Going to Facebook pages. And... Oh, boy. Now, you know what's really fun is that you guys get to stay in New York, and <laughs> Dummy has to go on the road and, and hear, they won't take you. They were featured on Chocktober. <laughs> <laughs> How many times? Oh, gosh. Whoopsie. Penny to count. Whoopsie. Yeah. I, I also like that we still say featured on Chocktober as, as if it's an honor to oh, be featured. Oh, it's great. It is an Did honor. you hear? I was featured on Chocktober. Yeah. You know, I was yeah. a featured guest. Featured. To the, you know that, uh, I think her name is uh, Terry Clifford in Rochester. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Weeze, Weeze gives me Terry <laughs> Clifford stories all the time. Oh, no. Because it's a small town and he runs into her. Of course he does. She's 600 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cause and he is... tries to tell me, look, she's really, not, I'm like, I, I don't care if they're nice people off the air. We had a, you know. 
We featured her. She should be proud. <laughs> E-Rock would have to double check on the date, but this is either the fourth or the fifth year of October. Yeah. And we have featured Terry Clifford every year. <laughs> I've insisted. Is there a strong possibility we feature her again? <laughs> I don't like to give any spoilers. See, in a weird but way, it's hard, a it's hard to feature new shows because... These are now characters, these people. Of course. You and you got to see love. what they've been up to uh, in the past year. <laughs> of course. Have they changed their ways? Right. And generally speaking, they have not. They never do. No. no. All right. With that said, when we get back, we're right. going gonna to start uh, Jocktober oh, with a, a fine little radio show out of Canada. We can't announce what, I what, know. what station yet. I no. Know. No, no heads up. No. I know. None. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Do they have a hole? There's a female on the oh, show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. And I will promise you this. You guys all say that you forget how exhausted you are with the Jocktober segments. Like, you're all excited when they start. Yes. Yeah. And then within a couple days, you forget how angry and exhausted <laughs> and furious. <laughs> yes. My prediction oh, is no. uh -huh. exhaustion sets in. On day one of Jack <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you will be tired of this segment uh, today. All, All right. right. Great. So uh, there you go. Um, for the people just waking up, your headline is, yes, we did re-sign with SiriusXM for a couple more years. Ooh. And after the break, we start Jocktober. Wow. <laughs> Stay there. It's Jocktober. It's Jocktober. Yeah! This is awesome. A celebration of Trap Trap Desk Radio from around this great nation of ours. Great. Oh, God, this is great. <laughs> So turn up this turd-tacular radio. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. It's, yeah. it's Jocktober. Jocktober. Oh, my God. Is it really? Oh is it really Jocktober? Oh, oh, this oh. has all the features. Is this really Jocktober? It's Jocktober. Oh, God, this is better than Christmas. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This, I'm just looking at the website. I'm not going to say anything quite yet. But as I look at this, mm -hmm. this would be a good parody of a radio show. Yeah, this can't it be It has real, right? all the features. It's got the hole. It's got the, uh, it's the got old the, guy, the young buck. It's got the, the radio veteran. Right, the veteran. And the wild guy, but he's wild. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. And then that guy. It's got a name that's lame. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's, that's pretty much uh, the hot format in the country right is now. Is that it? Oh, yeah. And Everyone's going to every sports radio. She keeps everything under control, I bet. Don't let those guys, because that guy, the young buck there, he probably gets uh, crazy. And the old radio veteran and uh, the hole, who, of course, why wouldn't she be overweight? <laughs> 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 ah, this is, look at this website, Jimmy. It has all the features. This is over. It's everything. And it looks like uh, they all just get along. Hey, come hey, on. Hey, look at us. There it is. We're in Canada. Uh, Today, Ontario, oh. <clears throat> we ah. go to Ontario, Canada, ah. and ninety-four point five, the Bulls, the Bull, bullpen. It's the, bull the morning pen. show. About the Bull is the bullpen. This uh, gentleman Oof. with the salt and pepper hair, yeah, is Bruffer. What's Bruffer? Well, I guess his name is Mike Bruff. Oh, but they call him the Bruffer. So he's Bruffer. Hey, hey. That's like the Opster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's uh, the Bruffer. Hold on. Hey, Kenny, the if Bruffer. you're listening, can you keep a list of all these so when I go into markets, we can just check off the ones <laughs> to tell the club to not try? <laughs> Don't bother. Because that's the most embarrassing part is when you try to get on one that you've jocked over. Yeah. Mm. Gives them a little bit of fucking, uh, a little bit of payback. Yeah, to yeah. To say no. Tell you, go fuck yourself. There's uh, this wild guy that you might know him as Kevin Fell, but... In the mornings, he's K-Fell. K-Fell! Why K-Fell? K-Fell in the Bruffer? Because any Kevin, it becomes a K. Yeah. And of course, Janice McKay, a.k.a. Mac. Oh, they got some nice names, right? Uh, they got the good names. Bruffer, K Mac, and K-Fell. Oh, yeah. 94.5 The Bull. You're listening to The Bullpen. Hey, Mac! Ugh. Hey, what's going on? Do they have sound effects of a ball hitting a bat? Oh. I, not that I heard, no. Okay. Do they have a, like a bowl? That'd be good. A little bit of that. A oh, bit of that. Jesus. I'm guessing here. All right. Well, we got uh, Katie Sunshine calling in a few minutes, so we should get a couple clips from uh, yes. this, At least, this show uh, on for Wet Jack our tootsies a little in this um, yes. wonderfulness yeah. of Jacktober. All right. Jacktober has begun with the bullpen with Bruffer, Mac, and Kfell on Ontario, Canada's 94.5 The Bull. That's right. Uh, 
Wendell Clark, the hockey player, is calling in later, and KFL has a totally crazy idea. <laughs> I love Chuck Tober. Oh, I've been waiting of, all year. It's a big guest right. for the show. It's, uh, I think this is the only reason we re-signed with Sirius. Just because, <laughs> because we knew. Yeah. Like, we have to do Chuck Tober. Is that what they did? <laughs> Management was like, listen, guys. Right. You know Jocktober is Monday. You don't have to resign, but... That's why we have a one-month deal. Listen, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wendell Clark is like, a, they're very excited about this guest. Now, oh. KFL is known to get a little... Uh, but KFL's the crazy guy. A little rambunctious. I don't yeah. want to confuse him with Mac. Right. No, Mac is... is she's. I'm glad Mac's there. Yeah. Because what she does is she lets things go to a certain level. <laughs> oh, no. But when it's time to keep the, things yes. under control. She's oh, got, thank God. You think she has an actual yield and stop sign in the studio? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Here we go. The Rock Station 94.5, the Bull Rock and South Zero on at 91.7. We may have Wendell Clark on the show today. <laughs> <gasps> We're giddy like school kids. I'm telling you, Mac. Are, are you? Are you I'm all excited. up too? Oh, yeah. oh, you are too. Good. Yeah, oh. that's awesome. This because oh. Max is excited because this could be the first time in her life she ever sees me speechless. I can't wait. Hi, oh, I hope that I happens. I'll, I'll, get like, to, I'll get to ask all the questions. I'll then. be like Chris Farley. Uh, Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, Chris Farley on him. He'd probably appreciate that. Uh, Wendell's got a great sense of humor, by Re- the way. Remember, remember when you fought McSorley? <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. I dare you, double dog. You won't do it. You're chicken. Double dog. Oh my god, he's chicken. <laughs> I swear to God, you would think this was an SNL parody. Oh, this is real shit. Hey. What a radio voice, though, huh? I like that riddle. Hey. He sounds like nearly a thousand people I've heard on, on the radio. <laughs> That's all you hear. That's all you hear. Okay. It's yeah, just a riddle. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, awesome. And k Fell. He wants to do, you know, the Chris Farley thing. Well, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's crazy. Which, you Should know, I say cray cray? That's cray cray. You could. Because, but Bruffer is there to be like, you're a little chicken. You'll never yeah, you're do a it. chicken, but Nova thank Scotia's, God Max there. Nova Scotia's pissed. Ontario's a province. All right, whatever. Whatever, whatever. it is. Whatever. I, I just look at it as one big state. What is that? Stop it, Canada. I don't even know what you're talking about. Blah, 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 blah. Well, actually, we said Ontario. D.C. is a district of Columbia. Exactly. Shut up. So what do we got, a double dog dare or something going down That's here? That's right. He double dog dares him. He oh, won't do it. He's boy. chicken. What do you want him to do? I don't know. <laughs> you know I the, forgot already. The Chris Farley skit where he goes, remember when you did this? That was awesome. Oh, during the interview with McCartney? Yeah. It's very funny, yeah. Right. Yeah, it was well, funny. He's saying that he's when Wendell Clark calls in, he's going to do the Chris Farley. Ah. And then Bruffer goes, I double dog dare you. And then he goes, you won't do it. You're chicken. He didn't oh. really say double dog dare you. Oh, well, we could go and did. check the end of the clip. He didn't oh, really he say that. Certainly, what? certainly did. I, did. I won't hold you to this one, though. All right. <laughs> no, I will not hold you to this one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I will. Mac, hold him That's down. That's clip two. Uh, right, no, you, you got to be nuts. To oh, oh, boy. Boy, they what sound the like a Sorry lot of that. fun, though. I disagree. He'd probably appreciate that. Wendell's got a great sense of humor, by the way. Remember? Remember when you fought McSorley? Do it. Do it, I dare you, double dog. You won't do it, you're chicken. Double dog. <laughs> double dog. Double, double, I dare you, double, double dog. dog. Double dog. <laughs> That's oh. serious. Oh wow! Double dog dares are pretty rough. No double dog. It was uh, Mac and her sister were in the <laughs> studio at the time. Oh. <sighs> I mean, that's the type of thing that K. Fowl thinks to himself. I'm kind of pinned up against a wall here. Yeah. I really got to go through with this crazy prank. <laughs> well, well when do we get to hear the Wendell Clark? I didn't even bother with it. He didn't do it. I mean, <laughs> of course oh, he just didn't do it? It was an interview with a hockey player. He oh, didn't really? do it. No, of course not. Yeah, because no. we got to let people know this is like uh, all the highlights of one show. This double, is, yeah, this is one day. Right. So you so they got to the Wendell Clark and it was just nothing? It was a, nothing. gives a fuck interview? Yes, of course it was. So he lost a double dare? <laughs> he lost a double, double dog, dog dare? Yeah. Double uh. dog dare? He did, but he didn't do what he said he was going to do? No, Bruffer was right. He was chicken. <laughs> Double dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are fucking good. Oh, you like them, Chip? Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're just really fun, good. right? In the yeah, morning. everybody's just joking so. around. <laughs> so I guess we just yeah. got to move on, huh? That's it. For that the Wendell Clark, the Clark uh, thing? coverage. K fell agrees to do something based on a prep burger news story. <laughs> Remember prep burger, people? Uh, we like to educate burger. the audience as yeah. well as beat the shit out of everyone. Prep Burger is a service where you could uh, uh, subscribe to, and they'll uh, they'll give you your jokes every morning. Yeah, they're right. not good enough to come up with their own jokes. Uh, are they still in existence? It's a whole yeah. Prep industry. Burger? Yeah, yeah. 
It's they a make, whole industry. Yeah. They make parodies for you. Nice. They, topical humor, right? They, yeah, they have topical humor. They actually have answers. We did it one year. Right. We, they have answers to interviews. Nice. So you could pretend like we did it with like Alan Alda, I think. Oh, can we you do could, that again this year? Sure, we could find it. There's yeah. so much we got to do Good for this October October. Right. But they also have like the wacky news stories of the day. Mm -hmm. And so when you start flipping around radio stations and you realize they're all talking about the same wacky news stories. Right. It's because they're just, they're not Prep even burger. researching. Yeah. How, how is it that you, wow, you go on the radio and have a radio show and you can't come up with your own shit? I don't know. A lot of radio sh uh, shows do it, though. A lot of them. Prep and, burger. And, and that's really, like, prep burger. People go, ah, it's harmless. It's just helping people have fun. But it's just, it's, it's helping uncreative and lazy people seem funny. And it's like, <laughs> there's a lot of really yeah. funny and creative people that could probably go on and, and do this job if they were given a chance. Yeah, what, yeah. what, what happened? Uh-oh, I'm seeing, uh, <laughs> what happened? It's not good. <laughs> What I'm happened? at their Facebook page. Oh. They're on Facebook. Right. Yeah. And uh, there's a picture of, uh, I don't know, the Bruffer and Kfel with somebody, I guess a hockey player or something. And the uh, comment is, today's your day, shit fox. <laughs> <laughs> today's your day. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can go through their wall. Well, people are pissed. There's <laughs> no Facebook for the bull. No, there, there. Yeah, but you're reading off their Facebook page. I don't know if we can. Uh, should we? Yeah, no, I mean, if you go we'll to the, find it. if you yeah. Google the station. Yeah, we don't really encourage. Of uh, course not. To take no. over the Facebook pages. If it happens, yeah. we can't. You know, we can't <laughs> control it. I, I do there. think it's funny, but I. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We, yeah. All I did was Google the station and then click the thing that says Facebook. Oh look, Fatty Pig Fatty has. Um, Paul Hargis's um, <laughs> birthday wish up there. <laughs> Fatty oh, Fatty. that's a good one. <laughs> There's a picture of a jack o' lantern with a woman sucking a man's dick <laughs> it's on of, the jack o' lantern. Instead of the eyes and nose and it's pretty mouth. Good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a big <laughs> fat lump of shit trying to get into her jeans. This is not good. It says, uh, there's a picture by somebody claiming to be Sam Roberts. It's a fake. Oh, uh, oh, oh fake Sam Roberts. Sam Roberts' uh, Facebook page yeah. that says, like if you love Jesus, ignore for devil, and it's a picture of an apple with legs and a lot of pubic hair and a giant penis giant coming out of his underwear. coming out of it. So the listeners have uh, started. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's Jesus. a big black man having sex with what appears to be an inflatable purple pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, why don't we get on to the next clip here, and then we're going to talk to Katie Sunshine. Oh, boy. Uh, K. Fell agrees to do something based on a prep burger news story. What's that there, Sam? Without well, reading the story, what does that mean? Yeah, it's like they had a, this prep burger uh, uh, news story that they wanted to get to. and Was K. it wacky Fell, news? It's wacky. The okay. news story is a little crazy. Okay. But you want to talk about crazy. K. Fell mm. agrees to do something. Without even knowing what the article says. Uh, that's Whoa. insane. And it's like, you know, it's one thing to that's risky. dip your foot in the water, but if you're just going to dive in without that's checking the kind of guy yeah. he is, though. That's, that's the kind of guy he is. Isn't yeah. Kate Fell's a little edgy? Oh, yeah. Fell. Morning Unpre madness. You think he's a little unpredictable? He is. Oh that's gosh. the thing. Right. He's nuts. And then what do you say? Uh, luck luckily, Mac is there as things drift out of control. Oh, yeah. If, if you listen to the whole, towards the end of the clip, things start to go a little crazy. So right. thank God there's somebody to keep it in line. Uh, All right. Uh, I don't, I don't you may be checking to do this, although you agreed to do this before you knew any of the information here. Which and, I really have to stop doing. Yeah, I know you do have to stop. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck kind of delivery does he have? <laughs> he's crazy, Ant. I told uh, you. Like he's Bobcat. Nuts. Right. He oh. just, uh, he just I really it. have to stop yeah. doing that. He's got no gauge on when he's supposed to sell the emotion. He's oh, just like, oh, I just God. start screaming yeah. now. Like, there's no reason for him to be that upset. He might be yet. channeling Chris Farley. Well, we he, all love Chris Farley, right? He's right. explaining why things are so out of control. He's like, got to stop doing these things. Yeah. He's basically saying, I got to look before I leap. And, <laughs> and if we believe the premise of what's happening, he doesn't know what the news story is yet. So. He doesn't even know if he should be upset. Uh, right, right. It could be something good. But he this doesn't. is him on a regular day. Yeah, it's mm. crazy. I don't, I don't you understand. may be checking to do this, although you agreed to do this before you knew any of the information here. Which and, I really have to stop doing. <laughs> yeah, I know you do have to stop doing that. This is great news, though. Scientists have figured out a way for men to live longer. Not women. Yeah. Oh. Men. I don't have to change anything about the way I live well, now. Well, that's sexist. No, you don't have to change what if we a thing. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the whole, There's the women's point of view. The whole. Well, that's sexist. Yeah. Why would she make a joke there? Exactly. Why not just jump in? Like, everyone's laughing, and all of a sudden she puts a picture of a tumor on the table. <laughs> way to be fun. That's sexist. Oh, God. 
change anything about the way I live well, now. Well, that's sexist. No, you don't have to change what if a we thing want to live about the way you live oh. right now. You already live longer. Oh. You have to have your sure. package cut off, though. No. Oh. Like right off? Yeah. Just... Like which part of the package? The whole deal? Yeah. What? What's going like on the there? Like the twig and giggle berries. Gone. All of it? Gone. Yeah. <laughs> Science. He didn't say that. Please. Please. Oh. I know. It's regular oh, radio. Oh. And k Fowl is not afraid. say that. I definitely got a, like, chill on that one. Who oh. says that? No one. The giggle berries. Oh, the twig and giggle Even when we had to like work around some rules, we came up with junk a long time ago. Twig, twig and they, giggle berries. You think when you think when they're doing an appearance somewhere, some like five people in a bar, some guy'll come up and go, Hey, how's your twig and giggle berries? Like, hey, I listen. Maybe they have bumper stickers that refer to the ah. three of them as the twig and giggle berries. Nice. Yee. Right off. Yes. Like, which part of the package? The whole deal? Yeah. What? What's going like on the there? Like, the twig and giggle berries gone. All of it? Gone. Yeah. Scientists have studied <laughs> so genealogy have records woman. of ancient Korea and found that men who were castrated lived an average of 14 to 19 years longer than men who got to keep their, their that's stones. That's weird. Listen. But maybe that's just because then you don't have the same testosterone levels and See, stuff. See, this would change nothing. And then you don't get in into fights and die. Well, I you don't, don't use it anyway. I don't use it, yeah. but I'd like to keep it around just in case. <laughs> I love when you agree to stuff before you find the deal. I won't hold you to this one, though. All right. I will not hold you to this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, I will. Mac, hold him down. Oh, no, you got to be nuts. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What is, what is is that, on? that sounds just like Amy Schumer when she did the voice for uh, the, the whole on exactly Louis' Exactly like yeah. that. That's exactly like that. And Bruffer was actually asking her, to hold down their sidekick while he castrates while him. While he yeah. cuts his dick and balls off, and she was like, no! Yeah, it was important for Mac to say no, because otherwise they would have castrated a man live in the studio. You That's think they not would have went it... through it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yes, absolutely. That's not what I tune in the bullpen for no. in the morning. <laughs> I tune in for some fun, a couple of laughs, maybe but, something interesting. But there's all these dares, and no, there's no payoff to no their pay dares. Off. You're chicken. He That's, keeps calling them chicken. They're and then, all for two. You guys have been in radio for a long time. We sure mm -hmm. have, Sam. Uh, do you think that they really did, during the commercial break, say, listen, k -Fell, you got to promise to do it. And k -Fell was like, look, I don't know, but uh, I'll do it. Yep, I will. Yep, right. I Absolutely. You. you think so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just go along with it. Yeah, yeah. Don't Absolutely. worry. In the end, you don't have to you know, be castrated. But let's <laughs> let's go fell. along with it. We can have a little fun with this, oh, I think. God. k -Fell sounds a little bit like Chris uh, Griffin, too. Oh yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, oh, he's trying. Voice? Yeah, he's trying so hard to be a character. Ah, so there's a little taste of uh, Jacktober <laughs> as we kick it off today with the bullpen party. with Bruffer, Mac, and Kfell. And there's a, Canada's 94.5. The bull. There's a lemon party going oh, on nice. on their Very Facebook good. page. <laughs> the fuck is that? There's a picture of a man cow with Bobo. What? <laughs> Where did that come on from? On the B94, the bull. Facebook oh, oh page. somebody. <laughs> okay. I didn't yeah. know he did man count. We're going to uh we're going back to Jacktober. Jacktober. Let's do this. Love so Jacktober. It begins today. The whole month we feature uh radio shows from around the country and Canada. And yeah. Canada. And Canada this year. This yeah. is special. It is special. The first show ever featured uh and, and Canadian on Jacktober from Canada. Canadian listeners have been asking for it for a long time. They have. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, they have Jocktober going on there, too. The bullpen with Bruffer, Mac, and Kfell. That's what we're talking about today. Of course. 94.5 The Bull, Ontario, Ontario, Canada. Ontario. Ontario, yeah. yes. There Ontario. Is, I'm sure people want recognition for it, too. There is evidence of Hulk Hogan causing the collapse of the World Trade Center. <laughs> Wait, where's, where's the one picture? Uh, oh, there it is. Wait, where are you going? I did this for you. <laughs> <laughs> It's so stupid. Hey, wait. <laughs> like, he just totally didn't read the situation, right? No. Wait, I did this for you. This Where are you going? You. He's... I like how he's doing his poses in the wreckage. <laughs> see, other people look at that picture like he's the evil one. I don't. No. I see it as, wait, what happened? Wait, where, where are you going? going? I did this for you. He dropped the big boot on Tower 2. Oh, he certainly did. Fast forward, did you ever think we would be laughing at Hulk Hogan, anything, yeah, Hulk Hogan and, with that, yeah. and Twin Tower pictures? No. But it's hilarious. On, obviously, 94.5 The Bolt thinks it's funny because it's on their Facebook page. Oh, it's on their page. Facebook page. Right? Yeah. He's hitting another chair. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chair. That's it's that just one. so wrong. Huge man. chair. Yeah. All right, let's get into um, another clip from the bullpen. Thank God Prep Burger had some more wacky news. Ah. Yeah.
where we replace punchlines with awkward laughing. What's this about, Sam? Oh, no. Well, sometimes, you know, you, you, the point is you read the uh, wacky news story and you can come up with your own little jokes and stuff. Sure. Or you could just read the news story, pause where there would normally be a punchline, and just kind of laugh. Ugh. All right. Well, let's play it, all right? Yeah, let's. Six thirty nine. Bruffer Mac and K fell on a Tuesday. Welcome to the bullpen. Partly sunny today. High to twenty one. Twelve degrees. Right. Oh God! Ah, the weather. weather is over. Who needs a radio station to tell you the fucking weather in this yeah. day and age? And I was I was sitting in my house Saturday morning and I'm watching local news and they spent five minutes on the weather. I'm like, could someone tell these people we don't get our Useless. fucking weather from TV anymore? Useless. Holy, the I mean, weather. maybe the five day forecast. Put that up on the screen for 10 seconds. I could get tops. that online. It's just. Whoop. I know, but why would you spend five fucking minutes describing the weather still? No need. I would assume this is one of their listeners because it's on their Facebook yeah, page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. post the weather on their Facebook page, too. Oh, oh nice. Good thing. And they write uh, today, partly to mostly sunny, high 17, winds west. 10 to 20. Fuck, it's cold up there. High right? 17? Yeah. Well, that's that Celsius shit. And uh, one of their listeners comments, with a 100% chance of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very, very bad weather condition. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I'd hate to have a 100% chance of AIDS in the air. <laughs> Penn, partly sunny today, high to 21, 12 degrees right now at the Bowl. Newport, Tennessee. I don't know, you guys decide, is it going to be a second date after this? After what? Dawn Peters arrested, charged with aggravated assault after she allegedly, allegedly, I say, hit 51-year-old William L. Wolford on the head with a hammer <laughs> at least five times while they were having sex. Nailed him. Nailed him. That's yes. right. Oh, yes. shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Holy fuck. Oh, shit. And of, you, co- oh. and of course, the Chris uh, Griffin guy. He has to laugh because he's right. the edgy guy. He finds everything like that funny, right? Because normally it's like if somebody getting hit with a head in the head with hit in the head with a hammer is so dangerous. That's not funny, but I, not for KFL. This whole <laughs> thing, I could listen to that segment ten times just to get every nuance. The 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 way he goes into the story is terrible. Mm-hmm. It just hey, blah, 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 blah. like hey, I'm just conversing. Yeah, I, and then, and then the hammer line. And then nailed, which is the double entendre of fucking. Yeah. There might be a couple oh. more double entendre. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um, Thunder, Thunder Scoot, one of my regulars. Someone's got to get this. He just sent me a headline that says, being bullied, question mark, just act less gay, advise teachers. There you go. <laughs> That's you all you got to do. think those teachers are in trouble? I Big think they're trouble. in a little bit of trouble there. Fucking uh, Thunder School. Where'd you find that article? I want to read the whole fucking thing later. Hey, uh, you think, what did she cave? Uh, ca- did did she cave his ball sack in with that hammer? <laughs> did he turn around and smash her cunt? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny when he's just twigging Giggleberry, so. You're still on that chip? chip boy That's hilarious. Awesome. My chip mother would always say, Chip, stop waving your twigging Giggleberries. Lamar's going to see you. Uh, yeah. Lamar's the one sure. that did your mom. No, he was helping her. Yeah, oh. helping her with the floor. Oh, I'm These still guys are funny. By why he would be in your house like that? He fixes the the rug. Ah. Why is your hand in your pants, Chip? It's touching my twig. With a hammer, <laughs> at least five times while they were having sex. Nailed him. Nailed him. It's yes. right. Yeah. Whoa. Gives a whole new meaning to she nailed him anyway. <laughs> and they were in the living Wait. room doing this. Yeah, I know. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. He just did yeah, her show. I, I know. Oh, that's sort God. of what she said. And he reacted to that like, whoa, that's crazy. You, you got a double mean, entendre. A whole, whole new meaning to the word nailed wow. him. You yeah. understood before, though, Opie. A little before bit. KFAL came and explained that. Oh. Yeah, a little oh. bit. Yeah, imagine if they did something totally bad, like, yeah, nailed him like Jesus on that cross. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the PD's running down the hall, freaking out. Yeah, he just said something funny, like, a hammer? What, was he raping a child or something? <laughs> oh, oh Chip. Chip, man. Come on. Sex. Oh. Nailed him. Nailed him, it's yes. right. Yeah. Whoa. Gives a whole new meaning to she nailed him anyway. <laughs> and they were in the living room doing this, too. Good. Nice. What if the, what I guess the she really knows world? how to handle him. I guess she does. Maybe he liked it rough. Apparently during sex, she picked up a hammer for no apparent reason. She just nailed him on the head five times. Yeah, I know. You said that. And then she runs out of the residence in a French maid outfit. And get this. I don't even understand how this made the story that she'd apparently purchased at Walmart. I know. It's a cheap one. That's all we know. (laughs) 
Oh, wow. Yeah. They had Guys, nothing. We got to start saying Walmart more. Wow. Yeah. It gets laughs. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They had Work Walmart nothing the there. A little more. The one thing that this trio has is chemistry. If they do. nothing else. They really do, Ooh. Sam. Yeah, like bleach and ammonia. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I noticed? Uh, the handle line was another hammer joke. Oh. She was thinking that P would knows how to handle him. Like she's just trying to go through parts of a hammer and, find head, puns. and there's only three parts to a yeah. hammer. The hammerhead, the handle, and the little wedge that keeps them both together. Or the claw. Other what than that, the claw? well, that's the whole head part. Yeah, yeah, but that's a separate yeah. part. That's, oh, a, that's a whole oh, other joke. If you want to get... start breaking down the claw, <laughs> you could have fucking done thalidomide baby jokes. <laughs> they got that dumb claw, you know? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dumb claw. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we squeeze a few more jokes out wow. of that news story before getting to the unscientific survey. A little daily oh. feature. All right. On the bullpen. The survey. Now, she's 31, eh? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if he's not going to call her back, I wouldn't mind her number. Give her a ring? And maybe he was a real tool. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? She's <laughs> just what, what, trying. What, what happened? She's fucking puns 101. Uh, what the happened? real tool. <laughs> She got another one in. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But none of us uh, could figure out the tool. No. Angle. That's right. Uh, she she did get the tool thing. And you see how the crazy one wants her number? Yeah, yeah. so he can Whoa. call her. Watch out, everybody. He's wild. I'm not afraid of her. He would like to date her. I bet he never saw that coming. <laughs> right. That's another. Yeah. See? Saw? Ha right. <laughs> ha. See? Saw. <laughs> I wonder if she said stop hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we heard you with the puns. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking... I mean, if he's not going to call her back, I wouldn't mind her number. Give her a ring. And yeah, maybe he was a real tool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she sounds like a delight on a first date. Yeah, oh, she yeah. sure does. Yeah. So, unscientific survey question it is back for a second day because <laughs> nobody answered directly yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's a hell of a segue. Yeah, yeah you got a new. The humor was all wrapped up. They, uh, it was, uh, it's uh. just before it's too much. They'd you know minded I mean? for enough jokes. Yeah, like minded. Nice. Leave them wanting more. Yeah, exactly. Right. We we hit the pinnacle of, of tool this, jokes of this pyramid before yeah. we start going down the other side. Yeah. Let's move on to the next hilarious thing. Yeah. A survey question. Yeah, the unscientific survey is there. It's this is some a lot of radio shows don't do. Can you imagine anymore. if we could get away with a survey question that takes two days to answer? Oh my how gosh. great our jobs would oh be! Oh my god! Well, the reason it took them two days to answer is they say no nobody had answer. the correct answer. No one gave a shit. Nobody uh, called no in. Called. Well, the question was, what is the worst radio show in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> and they just didn't want to. Yeah, they wanted one different answer. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling us. How's their Facebook page going? Uh, not great. We're in phase two. Phase one we passed, which was uh, deleting comments. They started, oh, they started. Uh, they started deleting. Phase comments. one yeah. is acknowledgement. Acknowledgement slash deleting Let's comments. Delete right. the shit out of our Facebook page. Right. Uh, phase two. What is phase two? Yes, is defense, which is blocking users. Yeah, a lot of people are bummed out. Uh -huh. I, I checked my Twitter. They're bummed. They got blocked, and they're like, "Man, I was on a roll. Why did they block me?" Are these guys on Twitter too? Oh yeah. Yeah, they are. They are? They're all over the What is uh, phase three? Have we ever gotten to phase three? We've gotten to... Uh, Isn't phase three where they completely remove their yeah, Facebook that's page? The, I think we've had a couple of those. We've had most of most of these have gone through to phase three, which is removal of Facebook Re page. Remove their page. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, I love phase three. It's just not stopping. I mean, you have now <laughs> Jerry Shepardini. <laughs> oh, Jerry who's, Shepardini. Who's chiming in <laughs> yeah. with the... Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> there's a prolapse. Oh, prolapse. <laughs> and Jerry Shepardini is chiming in with the joke. Uh, Hammer, what is this, a child rape or something? <laughs> <laughs> These fucking assholes. <laughs> Jerry Shepardini. <laughs> so, I mean. <laughs> what is this? Right. Well, let's get to the scientific survey. <laughs> yeah. Question. It is back for a second oh. day because nobody answered directly yesterday. More what? than a third of men huh? have made themselves look stupid while attempting to impress a woman doing this. What is it, guys? And some of the most popular answers yesterday dancing. dancing. Actually, yeah, dancing because some dance, all of us look a little silly dancing, don't we? Well, uh, I, I think I'm, I know this hey, one. Listen. Jerking off over a cracker? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> shitting their pants. <laughs> farting in her face. Um, <laughs> faking their own death. <laughs> uh, 
Guys have tried to impress a woman by doing impress this. Impress a woman by doing this. But it's a scientific survey. Unscientific. Unscientific. Oh, oh fuck. I, get I was it thinking, now. thinking scientific. <laughs> Somebody just posted oh. Twig and Giggleberries for the win. <laughs> Twig and Giggleberries. <laughs> for the win. <laughs> As in, that joke was so good. Oh, you, yeah. You've won the day. You think uh, they hate that we're focusing on them today? Oh, yeah. they yeah. hate it. There's you think no... they're very distracted and off their game right now? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> There's no worse news for a terrestrial radio show <laughs> than today you're being featured on Jocktober. No worse Because they news. all know about yes. it, too. The it's next, so true. I hear from radio friends oh. from around the country, and they're like, fuck, dude. The Everyone next, knows about this Jocktober thing. <laughs> the next 31 days is just a time when all radio stations are in fear. Uh, those pricks are deleting as fast as shit gets posted. Mm. Well, they get somebody on the case. <laughs> Actually, yeah, dancing was the big one. Right? All of us look a little silly dancing, don't we? Well, no. yeah, you do. I'm. Hey, listen. Is that for Kay Falamin? I got the moves like Jagger, me and Bruffer. <laughs> I'm like nonstop erotic cabaret when I'm on the dance floor. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I am. It's, it's just it, me, it, no, then. No, it's Sorry. Like heads down, no nonsense, mindless boogie. I that's the Bruffer. It. You know what dance I love? The old man at the wedding reception dance. Oh, that's a good one, it's too. It's my favorite. I like the crazy uncle uh, the with the lampshade <laughs> dance. Oh, my that's Uncle Bill. Yeah, Uncle Bill. <laughs> Anyways, that's not sure. the right answer. No, one eight seven seven nine four five bull one eight seven seven. Wow. Oh wow. boy, is that their phone number? <laughs> yeah. I oh mean, no. Oh, was no. that their phone? Wait, I didn't oh, hear that. No. I, I, I want to hear the last the, joke. Hold on, I didn't hear. Yeah, that. let's hear the last joke. I like the crazy Uncle uh, with the lampshade dance. Oh, my that's Uncle Bill. Too. Yeah, Uncle Bill. <laughs> Anyways, that's not the right answer. No, one eight seven seven nine four five bull one eight seven seven. Oh, wow. The lampshade dance. Is that where you put your Peter through the lampshade and you say, look at this. It's a snake light. <laughs> Kiss the snake light. Two photos posted on their Facebook. Yeah. One of uh, Ric Flair having his tights pulled down by Hulk Hogan. Yes, These are men in famous. their uh, 60s and Ric Flair's <laughs> ass is showing. And the other is a picture of the bullpen, except uh, Max photo has been replaced by a giant black cock. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes, These fucking people. <laughs> yes, uh, I think, stellar. I think this is more fun, man. Just see what the fucking listeners oh do with this shit God. than yeah. actually doing October. Um, yes, please. What happens next? Uh, yeah, it just continues, I guess. And then finally, the answer. Wait, then, what happened? Oh, oh, oh. I believe we've entered. I incorrectly said phase three. I believe we've entered phase three. What's phase three? Lockout, which is they lock their wall so that only they can post on their wall. Uh -huh. Oh, no. So what do we do now? However, you can still comment on their posts. Right. <laughs> For instance, uh, their last post was from Friday, so they're deleting uh -huh. everything from today. Uh, and this post says, way to go, Jake from Zurich. Got the code and wins a key. First comment, I thought Jerry from Shepardini won. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them about Jerry Shepardini. So you can right comment now. on their post. Yes. All right, good. Yes. Oh, Stick with the first go. post because that's yep. the one we're all watching right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so they continue to get an answer, oh, and I guess thank God. there's excitement or something. Unscientific survey, more than a third <laughs> of men made themselves look stupid while attempting to impress a woman doing this. What is this? Good morning, bullpen. Who's this? Good Good morning, it's Gwen calling. Gwen, oh, how are you? It's I'm good. Gwen what do you think it is? Well, I was just sitting there and you had said it was close with the other guy. What about when he's trying to open the bottle of wine? Congratulations. Oh, that's it. That? Good. You've got it, Gwen. You've qualified for a shot at a key for the Bulls Ultimate Guys Garage 5. Great. Uh, Has somebody uh, tried to impress you by opening wine and champagne? Yes, with his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he put the bottle in his asshole, and he told me to put my feet against his back and pull. <laughs> what? <laughs> why would you? Why would you ask that question? If a guy's ever trying to impress you by opening up a bottle of wine. Like, oh that, God, that is so hilarious. Stupid. The whole thing is dumb. But you win a, a chance for the guy's ultimate garage. Yeah. Which is, it has a speaker with this show playing through it, and then towels you can put under the door, and a fucking exhaust pipe hose. <laughs> That's the ultimate guy's garage. Uh, it's like a takeoff on the man cave, I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's the bull. Come on, the bullpen. Oh, right, well. They're yeah. giving away a man cave. Has somebody tried to impress you by opening wine and champagne? <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I can't say they have. No. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, well, they should. I think yeah. Uh, well, Gwen, thank you. I'm going to put you on hold for a quick minute, but who feeds you need to rock? 94.5 The Bull. Oh, who, who feeds, feeds your need to rock? rock? Oh, who Sam. thought that one up? <laughs> Here's an angle for this October. you got to come up with all those fucking uh, uh, slogans. Who feeds, feeds your need to rock? for rock? Well, who does it? If not 94.5 The Bull. I'm going to guess 94.5 The Bull I'm feeds trying. my need for rock. My God, man. Uh, yes. I, I'm not going to read this one out loud. but I'm... Well, where is that from? It's from their Facebook. Someone wrote on their Facebook, Men's Health asked... They, its... Well, they asked the question, and then one of their listeners, I guess, answered it. Uh-huh. Oh, it, it, Men's Health asked his male readers, if your wife or girlfriend offered you one gift from the following list, what would you pick? And the answer is no nigs for a year would be great. <laughs> That's what one of their listeners commented but is on that their a, Facebook. But is that a... They're saying that's a list? No, no, no. They added they, that themselves. They decided they didn't like the list and they had their own answer. Oh. Yeah, they had their yes, own suggestion. Yes, yes. Oh, my God. So let's uh, keep track of slogans this year. Who feeds your need for rock? Yeah. And let's uh, vote best slogan ever okay. this year. So keep track of that. That's the Feeds first your one. need. Who feeds your need to rock? <laughs> Who feeds your need oh. to rock? Hey, has anybody ever impressed you by opening a wine bottle? Well, yes, I was on one date where he smashed the bottle against my forehead <laughs> and they made me lick it off the ground like a dog. <laughs> well, he kicked my spine. <laughs> We're going to wrap up Jocktober for today. Yeah! We're featuring a show out of uh, Canada. Oh, terrible. The Bullpen with uh, Bruffer, Mac. And K fell on 94.5 The Bull. It is uh, so far has been uh, horrible with all the features the whole, <laughs> the old radio veteran, yeah. and uh, the wild guy is kind of, oh, he's out there, yells a lot. I don't find it to be bad. I find it to, it's like, because it's about time there's a mix of things. You know what I mean? You have to realize that oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of people out there, and you can have a little bit of craziness with a guy like K fell. Some just. Solid humor yeah. with a guy like Bruffer. Right. And then Mac is there to make sure that everybody kind of Just stays together. Doesn't get too crazy. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. want that. So it's a perfect no, no, balance, no. huh? Yeah, because fun is fun. I don't like fun. a show that gets crazy like that. I, I like that she's there to keep that from happening. It's something most broadcasters don't realize is yeah. fun is fun, but only to an extent. Right. <laughs> well, you don't want it to go too far because then the, half the audience. I, I like a lady's point of view. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of times the ladies will bring it back down. We, we get carried away. Right. Now. Like, I didn't think about it from that perspective type right. of thing. Guys. And no, that's why no. this is a valuable show to yeah. listen to. Right. Like, I enjoy it more than this one, personally. Yeah, I think it's good-natured. and it just yeah. You know, people can listen to it with the kids around. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. God Mac is there to That's go, come good. on now. You can put it on in the stores. Sure. Yeah. That's why I brought this to the table. I feel like you guys get a little nasty sometimes and uh, maybe listening. Blue. We work blue sometimes. Listening to the bullpen would make you think, oh, maybe maybe I should adjust my broadcasting That's style. That's the talent, to be able nice. to do it within the guidelines. <laughs> that's exactly right. That's, oh, that's exactly right. That's a problem with satellite radio. Oh, Not enough restrictions. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get back to Jocktober. Uh, the yeah. bullpen with Bruffer, Mack, and KFL on 94.5 The Bull. It's the bullpen's casting couch, really. What's this about, Uh-oh, Sam? Oh, that sounds risque. Yeah, it is a little risque. What they do is uh, they go on Prep Burger, and they find wacky news stories. Wait, the that, that yeah. whole show is Prep <laughs> Burger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My God, uh, man. Except these wacky news stories uh, refer to celebrities. So it's uh, celebrity <clears throat> wacky news stories from Prep Burger. You sure it's on Prep Burger? Yep. Did yeah. they say that? Uh, no, yep. they don't announce that. But the fact that, you know, if you listen to any number of shows on a given day and they're covering these same stories, it's because they're prep burger. You can tell, especially, I mean, let's be honest. Why do they call it prep burger? That I don't know. Because you prepare a burger? A burger. And the morning show itself is the burger? Yeah, you're serving it up to the people every morning. This is the fifth year of And every burger is different, but (laughs) it's how you prepare it? God, man. I'm trying to figure out why they would call their service the prep burger. Some are well done. Others are a bit rare. Can we see the prep burger? Can we bring it up? Um, I can't because I don't have a like username and all that stuff. Why? We have nobody that belongs to Prep Burger. We, I don't know. We did last year or something. I've talked about it. But no, not not for our show, by the way, assholes. How much yeah. is it to join? Don't spin that shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get a membership this year. Let's last join year... it. Let's join it by tomorrow because we could we could mock it and go on and uh, yeah hear other radio shows. I would love to get a bunch of radio shows doing the same story. We could, like mock Prep Burger. 
after October's long gone. Yeah. All right, here we go. The bullpen's casting couch. Right now at the bull. Because nobody's a true star until they've been on the bullpen's casting couch. Oh. Here's what the who's who idiots in Hollywood are up to today. Oh, those well, idiots. Uh, I don't know if this is good news or bad news, but it might be ugly. Not one, but two sex tapes are out there for Kanye to worry about right now. Ugh, uh, according to TMZ, they say that the tape we heard about yesterday featuring Kanye getting it all, getting it on with Kim Kardashian or a Kim Kardashian lookalike isn't the only one being shopped around. The second tape is said to be twice as long, lasting 40 minutes, and apparently that's nonstop action. I have a question for yeah, celebrities yeah. Oh, out boy. there. Why do you insist on taping it when you're doing it? Because ah. they're used to you know, being on camera. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Uh, cause he's a tool. Why are you trying Remember for the a hammer? Real answer there? Right, yeah, she comes back with the facts. She's that's, that's what not she's why there they for. do it. Yeah, cause yeah. they want to jerk off to it later. Silly. <laughs> Come on, Jim. Yeah, celebrities yeah. out there. Why do you insist on taping it when you're doing it? Cause they're used to you know being on camera. Maybe. Have you ever started in a sex tape, oh. KFL? No. No, me either. No, I, I'd be way too embarrassed for that. No girl wants yeah, to show anyone that they were with me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You're, you're much too hard on yourself. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, hard on. Was that a hard on joke? That's a hard on joke. You could Ooh. hear him go, huh, huh. And, but he knew. He knew better than to delve into but that. But even more importantly, did you hear Max's response to the joke? Uh-oh. We that. were so busy processing. Go to the end of the hard clip. Hard on. Again. All right. Because wow. if, pro- if you're spending time processing. Anyone that they were with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You're, you're much too hard on yourself. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, stop. Stop it. Oh, God. Stop oh, it. God. Oh, stop That's why I'm here. It's time Come to stop on. this right she, now. Was she really oh. offended by that? Was she out to be like, oh, oh stop, stop it. it. Or does she just take miles of dick and has to make believe that this she's is, uh, offended? It's just a world out there we don't understand. Well, you, people fucking live their lives. Oh, God. Well, you know, like hard-ons that? can yeah. refer to... Directions. Whoa. That's good. Oh, so is that she, what the deal yeah. is? Oh, see, I didn't know. Right. So she's kind of oh. like, whoa, whoa, before this goes nuts. Rumor has it the Facebook page is not happening right now. Oh, hey, there's a rumor. A little, <laughs> a little rumor going on. And the Facebook page is down. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> the, face, <laughs> the Facebook page. No. What do you mean it's down? Why would um, they do that? 94.5 The Bull. Yeah. The Bullpen. Yeah. Does not have a Facebook page. Oh, we've reached that level. You go to uh, this link right here. That right. says the bullpen on, the on Facebook. Yeah. Right. That's something I just clicked on a couple yeah, minutes just click ago. Click that right there. Just click that, and it goes right to the Facebook homepage. Oh, oh. which means so sorry. Oh, it's gone. Sorry. Is there a Twitter? I want to just see if they're updating their Twitter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they started their day uh, like any other day. What's their Twitter? And a mere oh. couple hours later, they're deleting well, their Facebook page. have to page. fucking take their Facebook page offline. <laughs> I just want to read their tweets and see if they're Twittering. I don't know what their Twitter is. Mm. Yeah. Does anybody know? Oh. They I don't have, know. They should have tweeters. I think so. What's the morning mooch? Oh, the morning mooch. Oh. We're almost done with today's Jacktober. The That's morning a, mooch is where... Kick uh, off too. Where you can... Uh, you, the listeners are mooching off the show hosts, meaning... They call in and get a prize. What? Yep. They just, I mean, it's another call in for a prize thing. But this time, yeah. the we- morning mooch involves the theater of the mind less. Ah! Theater of the mind less. Ah! Whoa. Uh, boy. And what happens there is uh, two members of the show will read a movie scene, like act it out together. And then they'll give lots of very obvious clues, hoping that maybe one person might call. Oh, wait. Is this uh, is this true? What's there that? There's an at 95 the bull. That would be a 95 90... the bull Twitter. I don't know if that's the same stage because it's 94.5. Oh, see? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. well, then there's an at kfel 945. That sounds like him. <laughs> that's kfel. At k. He's the one that sounds like Chris Griffin. Kfel 945. That's that's Kfel. How many right. followers does he have? Oh, look How at this! Follow- oh he's, man, he's dressed up for Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Zach Galifianakis from The Hangover. Oh, that's a little nuts. <laughs> oh God, what is Jimmy, it? Jimmy, look, Jimmy, look. Oh no, he felt so hangover. good about the picture. It's his avatar. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Did you see oh, the movie? Uh, maybe. He got crazy. Yeah, 
That's yeah, he did uh, get crazy. He had like the the baby uh, attached to the, the baby. He's got the beer. How many followers? Um. Oh wow, he's got a one hundred and seventy followers. Thousand? What? One hundred and seventy. You know, thousand followers. You know that half? Oh, do you just, know that half our listeners have more followers than the <laughs> guy that's doing radio. <laughs> oh, I this, like his background though. This that's son of a bitch hot. asshole. Yeah. His tweet. He just writes WWE is so bad. Oh well, oh, there's a problem. If, now. if that doesn't warrant an attack, I don't know what does. Maybe he means good. Maybe maybe bad like good like Michael Jackson bad. Ninety four oh. five the Bull is a pretty good Twitter account. They have a hundred and forty four followers. Oh no. wow! Come on, what are you doing as a radio station? Oh my god! When right? you can promote it around the clock. What are you twittering? Nothing but vomit photos. <laughs> <laughs> Those would get more. I'm oh, sure. and, and they're smart too. Like they're really on top of everything. Their last tweet was on the twenty fifth of July. <laughs> so they're really making sure everything stays updated. Really and using fresh. that new medium. Wow. Radio, yeah. Radio. Yeah. Just it just yeah. stinks, radio. Let's get into the morning mooch. Oh. Yeah. The morning mooch. What oh. do you want? For Sound of forever. In association with Pete's Auto Body, just south of uh, Owen Sound. Okay, Sponsor. we're going to play Theater of the Mindless uh, here this morning. one 877 bull one 877 or pound the cell at 2855 toll free. Whoa, Whoa. you can pound the cell. <laughs> pound the cell? Pound Whoa. the cell, baby. Oh. Uh, the last T cell. Out of you. <laughs> but more, eight. more importantly, are they going to feed my need for rock and roll? Only if you pound the cell at the right time. All right. Someone writes, by the way, mm, oh, Jimmy, I live in the area of the bull, and they have changed their voices and are pissed at yous. Love it. Pissed Whoa. at yous. Whoa. Oh, nice. Boy. Are they mad at us for what? I don't know. I mean, why would they? Have some laughs. Sam, isn't this in good fun? This is all in good it's fun. It's all in good fun. It's just like if it's a good, if we enjoy it. Yeah. We'll comment on that if there right. are some yeah. things that right. we have a difference of opinion on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Morning at 55, toll free. Got a pair of tickets to the Woodstock Wood Show, which is coming up at the end of September. What? So we need a herd member right now. So you guys want to perform this? Yeah, let's yes. do it. Okay, this is uh, featuring Mac and uh, K-Phil this All morning. Right. So anytime you're ready, guys. All right, here we go. Oh. Every ex player turned coach says that they prefer coaching over playing. Why would they all say that? Because they can't play. So I think maybe it has something to do with hockey. <laughs> Dice. What do you think? 1 877 Bull. 1 877 What is that? What, what are they doing? What, what happened? What's going on? What's we, the game? It's too highbrow for us. We don't even what understand happened? it. Wow. Well, no, the problem is that you guys might think there's no way it could possibly, but it is. Uh, you just now. Is it Slapshot? They read two lines from a movie, what and then the listeners call up and name the movie. Oh, what is the uh, what is the line again? I didn't realize it's, it's two lines from a movie. That's right. There's not many hockey movies, though. Is it Slapshot? Well, and then this is the part where they start giving away very obvious oh, clues. Okay. Yeah. Why would they all say that? Because they can't play. So, I think maybe it has something to do with hockey. <laughs> Dice. What do you think? One eight seven. Why would he give away that part? <laughs> I'm Dice. so mad right now. Dice. Uh. It was vague enough. Let me walk people through this. It was vague enough where it's like, okay, right. you got to think sports movies. But then he goes, oh, it has something to do with hockey. There was nothing in there that say says that it's actually hockey. No. And there's literally like one hockey movie. I thought, it was, I thought it was the accused. <laughs> Love that. Slap shot or, or the Mighty Ducks, I think. It That's does. about it. And then instead of it keeping does. the mystery alive, it's saying, I don't know, k goes, it does. does. Oh. Can we hear his it does again? Yeah. <laughs> they can't play. So, I think maybe it has something to do with hockey. It could have been Dice. What do you think? one 877 bull one 877 or pal to sell at 28.55, toll free. Do that again, guys. All right. All right. Every ex-player turned coach says they prefer coaching over playing. Why would they all say that? Because they can't play. That's not a, it's I not think there's obvious. a reference to a... That's not obviously hockey. No. No, not of course at all. not. Why don't you just take the seventh caller? Because they realize... <laughs> That nobody would ever call in for that because nobody would true. possibly know. What with Plus, 144 fucking uh, <laughs> yeah. Twitter followers? It's very. There's such few listeners that you know out of that pool to mm. know what that line is from is impossible. Does it does? He was so excited. <laughs> it's terrible. They all know the answer. It's the worst does ever. <laughs> does does. I think there's a reference to a walrus in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it. I know the movie. Uh. <laughs> Sorry in advance. It's the Eric Nagel story. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he's not quite as big as uh, a walrus. Of course. My apologies. All right, let's get back to oh, this uh, the the uh, the morning mooch thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the captain of the team? BB. Oh man, <laughs> I just saw this again the other night. I can't believe. Come on, Herg, you're hockey fans for crying out loud. Not saying this is the best hockey film ever. It's no slap shot for sure. No, it's no Mighty for Ducks sure. one. Oh, it's, always- no, it's not even <laughs> Mighty Ducks one. Come on, her. <laughs> Try to get the crowd in. I'm so out. That's that, that's the only two hockey movies I know. So they've said uh, it's a Although hockey Coon movie. Was great. It's a hockey movie that's not Mighty Ducks, and that's not it's slap, not slap shot. shot. By the way, uh, we didn't pick up on it, but Doug certainly did. Uh, you know what? Let's give Doug a little fucking oh. spotlight right now. Uh, Doug, go ahead. Yeah, I just but before they started this clip, they, they refer to their audience as the herd. I know. Oh, uh, the herd. Because the station's called the bull, they're and they're cattle. the bull pen, exactly. and they're the bull pen, and, and the listeners of the herd. Yeah, and what they put out is fucking <laughs> it's bullshit. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, right, thanks. They refer to their audience as the herd. The, it's not just them. It's the audience referring to themselves. I'm a proud herd member myself. Yeah. Well, good for you. I tell you, I was walking yesterday. My hooves are just killing me today. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> a dumb hoof, bo- cow, oh, bull reference. Herd. Hey, ho, ho. Gonna wrangle the listeners in. Ah, uh, I'm a little horny. <laughs> oh, whoa, look out. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. One way or another. <laughs> <laughs> good one, good one. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> um, well, you want to get the answer? Yes. Please. All right, then. Hey, the bull, who's this? Uh, it's Valerie. Valerie, what do you, you think? think? Uh, is that not um, the Mystery Alaska? Yay! And Whoa. Russell Crowe is the uh, captain? Yes. Woo! Yes, he is. Yes. Good. All over this. <laughs> it was our awesome acting, I'm sure. It was. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I will be doing that line later on. A couple of tickets <laughs> to the Woodstock Wood Show. Congratulations to you. Okay. Perfect. Who feeds you need to rock? Uh, nine for five. Ah! Goals. Why? What's wrong with their phones? There's nothing wrong with their phones. There's something wrong with the pre-recording they did of that phone call. The audio is obviously fucked up, but they realize that they're not going to get another caller any way in hell. Mm-hmm. So they're like, well, we just got to play it. Why do you have to say who feeds your need for rock and she answers? Who fe- you guys the PD do. fucking hammers that in your head. You get the slug line out there. Look, Make we- sure. We've done slug lines in the past. Oh, yeah. You know. They're terrible. They're not perfect. They? Fade your need for rock. We did work at the only station that really rocks, so. Yeah, but they didn't feed any. You didn't feed anybody's need for rock. Oh. No, we don't even feed people's need for laughter or entertainment. <laughs> 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 I think we might have asked the question, what's the only station that really rocks, though? Uh-huh. And there we go. Yeah. AAF. AAF. Yeah. Mm. But AAF doesn't feed my need. And I like ran, the they feed does. your need for rocks. Yeah. <laughs> And you're homo. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're looking for a good hockey movie, uh, The Goon is a great one. Oh, there you go. With are. Sean William Scott, who came in and promoted that movie. Uh oh. Norm says, get ready. They played Get Back and told the herd to nail yous. No. I what? bet you they played uh, Get Back by the Beatles. Oh, really? Let's sit here and wait for a phone call <laughs> from their audience. Okay. Well, they're having a little fun back there, Jimmy. I, I like that. It's I good like natured. Everybody, check your Twitters for uh, tax. Mm-hmm. And we might have to take down some Facebook pages. E Rock, be on the ONA Facebook page because Standing you might by. have to. Standing by, E Rock. So there you go. Who are we going to feature tomorrow? That's it for today. Well, I'm not going to tell you who we're going to feature tomorrow. We will have a nice show, but. That means you don't uh, know. You don't know yet. There's no advance notice given to these shows. Mm. I'm prepared. But there's no advance notice. Everybody's been doing a good job of tweeting suggestions, though. Just tweet them, not Sam. And I'll favorite the tweet, and then I'll have everything. Oh, stop trying to get more Twitter followers. That's not my ambition. (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right. Fox News airs Suicide Live. You got any of those calls from the bullpen? They were waiting. (laughs) I don't see it. That was one of their listeners on Fox. (laughs) <laughs> oh, the show starts. Kingston Pete, he's a regular on the Twitter. Mm-hmm. He writes, uh, the bull is in Wingham, Ontario, if that makes sense to people. Yep. Population, 2,923 people. What? I live four hours from this town and just learned it existed today. <laughs> wow. wow, you went deep for fucking October. It was, this was a listener suggestion. You went deep. 
I thought it was important to highlight the bullpen. That's a tiny little radio station. Yeah. It's market well, number 500 in Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of Jocktober. No matter how far tucked away you are. Oh, you're yes. never safe. You will be attacked. <laughs> yeah, it's you're no never reason. safe. <laughs> you don't think shows enjoy when they're featured? I think it could possibly be the worst thing. For some of them, the worst thing in their careers. Because they're mm. just not used to being made fun of. No. At all. Like, they're used to being this little show that, you know... Half a dozen people listen to and like, <laughs> and the rest of the rest six of everybody people. else just like leaves them alone. Six people are listening. <laughs> yeah, but he, but he says it like it's absolutely a fact. Yeah. I checked into it. No, it's uh, six it people. Half a dozen. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's half and a so dozen. So they don't. They're not used to like severe criticism. Right. <laughs> and, be snorting. And so when there's like you know hundreds to thousands of people. Just attacking them for no reason. They did nothing. Yeah. They don't know how to cope. You think they'll spin it in a good way? Like, hey, any any kind of uh, publicity. Yeah. This is good for us. I hope we end up in Canadian newspapers. Oh, That'd yeah. be nice. Um, a little press. In honor of Jocktober, I could put some focus on me. What happened with you? S someone tweeted me something over the weekend, and uh, I was by myself when I pushed play, and I was... Completely embarrassed for myself. Mm -hmm. Why? Wow. Completely embarrassed. Oh, do tell. Oh, well. <laughs> you know, we all have our crutches here on the Opie and Anthony show. Uh -huh. And I'm aware of some of mine, but I swear to you, someone, a bunch of people obviously picked up on a crutch I do. And when I heard this, I went, oh, oh my God, I had no idea I did this. Oh, no. Is there a montage? It was beyond douche chilling. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Oh. Do, you, do you know of any of your crutches? We all have them. I know mine, yeah. What's yours? I know do you want to just write it down so they don't do a montage of it? No, no, I, 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 I don't care. I think it's kind of funny. But, I, it's, but um, I had no idea about this one. I know I use this one word. I do know I use it, but I didn't realize to the extent. I do, I do this um, and for even off the air. I do this one. It's uh, If somebody says something really funny, I, I just repeat it. <laughs> Like, like, oh, not yeah, yeah. not trying to do the joke again, but if, like, you know, you just fucking say something, and it's like, ah, and then the door fell off. I'll be like, ah, the door fell off. Yeah, I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Noises. My crutch, and I know it, and I hate it. Is that I just. I bring constant entertainment value. <laughs> <laughs> entertainment value. <laughs> Who gets the credit today? This got to go on the Facebook page. Uh, it's uh, Ryan. Uh, what's his name there? You might even be a hater, but I don't care. It, it, Ryan Walling. It fucking, it got me, uh, I was just douche chilling bad. Just play it. This is, I had no idea. I swear to you, I had no idea I did it to this extent. What's he howling? <laughs> yes. Laughing my ass off. I was off. howling. Oh. And I started howling <laughs> out loud. I couldn't help it. And uh, There's a montage I, I was of wolves howling. going on. Everyone was howling on Twitter that in the end, they picked a dog act to win America's Got Talent. <laughs> I was howling. E Rock, were you howling? <laughs> like I always used to howl when your friend would come to like a party or or like someone in your family brings that girl with massive tits. Can we put the mustache on her. Oh, she made us howl exactly. for weeks. I hope uh, I hope you guys continue this because we're oh. howling over here today. <laughs> How great is that? <laughs> that, that is making us howl this morning. My chip is hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was howling. It's one of my Dude, we've been <laughs> fucking howling. Then I, I brought my brothers. We were howling. <laughs> There's another thing that happened on this date, which is, is makes me howl, man. <laughs> you know, I couldn't get back to everyone yesterday, but a lot of people <laughs> had me howling with their tweets about the hula hoop girl. Yeah. Howling. One, I, you know. the move the move that bus. Had me howling. Well, the one with the black mom, the grand mom starts, she just passes out. Oh, yeah, we we howled at that one. We thought that was I don't know that one. Oh, my God. Is I, this I, all from one day? Oh, my God. It was God. Uh, the last few days, but oh, now that, I mean, now that, that 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 is posted, I know I say it a lot, but I had no idea. Well, we know who your favorite character on Gilligan's Island is. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know? No, I never noticed. Did you know that never. crutch? No. Never. Never even noticed. Now that they brought it up, I know I, I absolutely say that a lot. That was really funny because during the video, all they're playing is wolves, like howling. <laughs> I never noticed it. And then I tweet and I write the word howl a lot, too, because they put that up there as well. <laughs> I had no idea. I I I I I I I I I I saw this over the weekend. I was embarrassed, and there was no one around. Oh no! <laughs> put, put down the Facebook page there, Iraq. 
All right. See. My crutch is that I say anti disestablishmentarianism too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh.